Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guests are two lifelong friends who own and operate two animal hospitals. Come on, and star in Nat Geo's newest series, Critter Fixers Country Vets. Mm. Let's take a look. The babies, they have to have warmth because they cannot control their body temperature, so they need a source of heat. Once the temperature gets a certain level and, and drops a few degrees, they absolutely will not eat. Hey. Give me a little notch of this thing. Look at that. That's what you was hollering for. Yeah, get your blood sugar up. You want more? No. Yum, 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 yum. Teamwork made to what? Dream work. All right. Oh, wow. Please oh, welcome gosh. Dr. Terrence Ferguson and Dr. Bernard Hodges of Nat Geo's Critter Fixers Country Vets. Yay! Wow. Good morning, good morning. How cool is that? Yeah. That is so cool. I absolutely love animals. Me I have two too, little baby girls myself, Chloe and Kari. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, they're doggies. For sure. <laughs> but they don't know that. They think they're actually oh, humans, yeah, right? Yeah, right? Yeah, 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 for sure. I know. So it's only 2% of African American yeah. people who are veterinarians. Yeah. Yes. That number is extremely low. It's yes. extremely low. At yes. what point in your life did you know you wanted to be veterinarians? So, my, me, I, I, I'm from the country. I'm from small town Fort Valley, Georgia. So I always played with animals, but I had a love of fish. So I was kind of a fish guy, mm -hmm. and I thought I would be the next black Jacques Cousteau. So okay. that, was my, that was my thing. <laughs> right. And uh, I ended up going to uh, veterinary school because I figured out I can treat all kinds of animals. So, yeah. So that was kind of my, my dig into it. Yeah. My, my deal is I've wanted to be a veterinarian since I was seven or eight years old. Nice. And um, we had a dog that was hit by a car. Mm. And what was his name? <coughs> um, AC. AC. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he and I mended him back to health. Oh wow. Now now looking back on it, he wasn't hurt very bad. <laughs> <laughs> but at that, <laughs> but at that time he I thought that he was and mm -hmm. it just lit a fire in me. Yeah. And I wanted to be a veterinarian since at a very oh, young that age. Is yeah. so Thanks to AC. Yeah, yeah, Come yeah. on, AC. Yes, <laughs> yes. But getting to you know, you said about the African American, it wasn't until I was a junior in college that I actually saw my first black veterinarian. Wow. Wow. So, yeah. Where'd you guys go to undergrad? Fort Valley. Fort, Fort Valley. Valley. Fort Valley. That's where we met. Oh, yep. wow. wow. Come on, yeah. HBCU. That's it. Yes. Love it. But the name Critter Fixers, where, where'd that name oh, come what? from? <laughs> Critter oh, wow. Critters. Wow. So we went out on our own. We wanted to start a veterinary hospital. So we had to come up with a name. Yeah. Um, me, as he always say, I'm the stoic one. Yeah, he's we good. opened our first location in Byron, Georgia. Mm -hmm. So I said, um, you know, veterinary associates of Byron. That would be very astute, <laughs> oh very professional. Mm -hmm. And I it's said, like you know, that's what we probably should be. <laughs> he slept on it one night and came back the next day and was like, nah, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, uh, nah, man, we, you know, we ain't got no money. That sounds like somebody who got some money. Like, <laughs> right. well, that, that was the purpose. It made it sound like we did. Right. Yeah. Right. So I was like, oh, we fix critters. Let's just be the critter fix. fix and I was like, critters. dude, that's country. <laughs> <laughs> no, we country. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that's how the name. That's right. How that's the name. awesome, man. Yeah. Speaking so, of country, we in the country. We in right. the country. So how in the world did the Net Geo Wild people find your practice? Mm -hmm. right. That's the beauty of it. If you're good at what you do, I tell when we talk to these kids, they'll find you. So um, social media, they'll mm -hmm. find you anywhere. Yeah, so, that's true. Mm -hmm. This guy uh, hit me up, uh, um, DM'd mm -hmm. me on, uh, on Instagram. He's like, how would you like to be on TV? Mm. So I ignored him because I thought it was a spam for him. And then he's like, really, I want you to be on TV. We we are uh, looking for some talent and looking for some veterinarians. I was like, all right. And uh, I talked to him, and then we Skyped and did a few things. And then I was called Terrence. I was like, hey, bro, we, uh, they, uh, we, we might have TV. a We're going to be on TV. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, so he called me, and I did the same thing he did. I ignored him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so I'm thinking, you know, here, you know, how just go on his little games again. Right. Know, here we go. Mm -hmm. And um, but it w it was real. Yeah. And um, they came over for a week, and they filmed a um, sizzle reel, mm -hmm. which they pitched to National Geographic. And after going through the process, they called one day and said, you know, you guys have a show. Wow. Yeah. Oh my God, that is so, so great. Yeah. great lit. You know what I mean? Because yeah. you just never know. Like there's some, there's some a young black boy, young black girl, For sure. or all children looking yes. and seeing what they see in themselves in the mirror, and they get to see you do it. So it makes it more of a reality it definitely to gives, them. Yeah, you know? It gives us a platform to to kind of show them. Because you know, when I go out, we go speak to kids all the time, and the first thing he says, "I want to be a football player. I want to be, be a rapper. Right? You're a rapper, which is great. You know, mm -hmm. I want to be a rapper too." 
But we can tell. Hold up, hold up. Time with Kwame. Hey, yeah. so, so I want to be a rapper too. So, right. But um, you know, you you usually are what you see. Yes, and so absolutely. Now, now hopefully they see us and we have a platform to right. say, look, you can be veterans as well. Right. And you guys come across so many uh, exquisite and exotic animals All kinds in of different stuff. scenarios. Have you ever turned down anything? Was something too wild for the critter fixers? No. No, no, really? No, 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 not too wild. Is that wild. a porcupine? Oh, oh see, no, that would have been a deal breaker That's for me. That's porcupine, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So what, what's been some of the behind people? the scenes shenanigans that uh, production <laughs> has said, hey, I think this would be a great idea, and you guys are like, uh, that's a bit challenging. What's, what was that? I don't know. I mean, I mean we just we, used to we just used to having our know. arms knee deep in cows. So yeah. anything, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That's what we do. I know you about. That's what we do. You know yeah. what? We, we forget do. that there are oh, other oh, animals besides cows. Right. Right. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 See, that's the thing with black people. You know, we only fool with cats. And dogs. Right. Right. That's, that's and fish. But that's yeah, when we, we got a fish, a cat, or a dog. So yeah. next week, you're going to see us with a camel. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, so we go. We're going down to the. Okay, we went to the Dubai. Hey, let's do it. <laughs> okay, well, look here. You, it, it appears that you have also uh, spread your knowledge out mm -hmm. by yeah. mentoring 43 other veterinarians, yes. and it's called the Critters yeah. Fixer Family Tree. Correct. And they've gone on to Tuskegee <clears throat> and different schools. Mm -hmm. um, what made you start this program? Again, it's it's it's, a, it's about kind of giving people the opportunity because you know you can say all day I want to be a veterinarian, right. but you really need to come in and experience. You need to kind of see well what do these guys do because it's mm -hmm. not all fun. You know, yeah. sometimes bad stuff happens. You know, yeah. you have some bad days, so you need to see this thing. And a lot of times the African American kid doesn't have access. Mm -hmm. You know, so if you don't want access, you know, we just said look, we didn't have access. We'll never turn turn anybody down, and it worked out. And so yeah. all these people have come through and uh, yeah. spread all around That's the country. Awesome. That is yeah. so yeah. good. I love it. Yeah. I love Fixer. it. Yeah. I have a dog That's named it. Malik. She got a dog named Valentino. Mm -hmm. We just okay. love. Yeah. But I That's just fun. love how you're showing our young people mm -hmm. that there are other professions and mm -hmm. a profession that sure. they wouldn't think of that it, it's it's such a, a lucrative and amazing, entertainable, fun, right. yes. entertaining yeah. uh, profession. Too. Yes. I'm sure it's okay. very fun. It's oh, fun. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah. We, 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 we enjoy each other. Now, of course, we take our job serious, but yeah. we definitely like to enjoy each other and have fun. Well, we have enjoyed you today. Thank you yes. so much for Thank being here today. Thank you The Critter Fixers. Thank Make you. sure you check out Dr. Ferguson and Dr. Hodges on that. Geo's Critter Fixers Country Vets, Saturdays at 10, 9 Central. Thank you so much, gentlemen. Oh, thank you all for having me.